Sliced bread on the outside, something scrumptious on the inside. The British love their sandwiches. And you can buy them on nearly every street corner, for example, from Sue Cope. She makes around 50 different kinds of sandwiches. The most popular are bacon, lettuce, tomato, egg mayonnaise, cress, cheese and tomato, ham salad, ham and tomato, tuna, mayonnaise and cucumber, cheese and onion, egg mayonnaise, chicken mayonnaise, coronation chicken, chicken and bacon in mayonnaise. The sandwich first became popular in aristocratic circles in the 18th century. In its present day form, the sandwich was invented by an English Earl. The fourth Earl of Sandwich. There is no other name that I can think of which is in every small town in the world. And I think, I think it sounds very good. Uh, it's fortunate that we're not eating Portsmouth because that was the first title uh, was offered to the first Earl of Sandwich. So we would be munching Portsmouth. But luckily, I think it sounds better. The family gets its name from Sandwich, a medieval town on the southeastern coast of England. The Earl and his invention became popular so fast that the first caricatures were published in his lifetime. The Earl like a piece of cheese squeezed between two courtesans. How the sandwich was invented is a matter of debate. This is the fourth Earl of Sandwich, who was in Parliament himself and in the Admiralty, responsible for Captain Cook's voyages of discovery and many other things. He was seen eating a sandwich, and of course he wasn't the first person to eat one, but he wanted to eat something with one hand, and so they said, we'd like one like sandwich, and that's how the name took on. He was um, a gambler and a womanizer, and he didn't have time to leave the card table, um, so he had his manservant to get two slices of bread and put some meat in the middle. I don't believe in some of the stories about him gambling all night. I think it was probably because he needed to work with the other hand as well. Today, the sandwich is known around the world. The British alone spend seven million euros on this quick snack every year. A cruise on the Stour River. Welcome aboard, everyone. Thank you very much for The port of Sandwich was important for seagoing trade because it's close to the European mainland. These days, it's a sleepy town visited mostly by tourists. But many people don't know that sandwiches got their name from this town. I have friends and relations in London who don't even actually understand that it was the Earl of Sandwich who created the sandwich in the first place. <laughs> so even English people don't fully understand all about that. But no one here can escape the food. Not the tourists being shown the old coastal town of the British. No picnic or afternoon tea is without this snack classic. <laughs> In every tea house, like the Secret Gardens Tea House in Sandwich, the snack is an important component of this traditional ritual. A very English thing would be mid-afternoon, sort of four o'clock-ish, to have um, a cup of tea in bone china and to have sandwiches, cucumber sandwiches usually, followed by cakes, scones or freshly baked Victoria sponge. It's a snack just to have something and run and go and do what you've got to do, just something quick. It's sort of gone from a workman's um, lunch of cheese um, and cold meats, hasn't it, to, to really quite exciting fillings. With ever more variations. Beef, turkey, corned beef, ham and mustard. 